वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ डायरेक्ट दिल से विद टीएमआई आपका टेक दोस्त डायरेक्ट दिल से है क्या डायरेक्ट दिल से एक कार्यक्रम है जिसमें हम आपको ब्रांड से रूबरू करवाते हैं वे वी टॉक टू द ब्रांड्स एंड गेट द डायरेक्ट आंसर्स फॉर यू फ्रॉम देम इट सेल्फ रादर देन थ्रू सोर्सेज क्योंकि ज्यादातर आपने देखा होगा कि स्टोरी हो रही है कोई भी चीज घटना घट गट रही है कोई डेवलपमेंट हो रही है हम बोलते हैं सोर्सेज के हवाले से हमें एक खबर मिली है वी हैव गॉट दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन थ्रू द सोर्सेज बट उसमें डायरेक्ट एंगल की कमी होती है सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक विद एल एन डायरेक्टर प्रोडक्ट सेंटर हुआ वे एंड पी संजीव बी पी सेल्स हुआ वे और हम इनसे डायरेक्ट दिल से बात करेंगे कि हुआ वे इंडिया में क्या कर रहा है वॉट इज द प्लान वॉट आर बीन दे डूइंग एंड ऑल्सो वी बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द फोन दे हैव लॉन्च टूडे दैट इज ऑनर एट प्रो एट प्रो दैट्स राइट सो एल एन हाई First question to you. Can yeah. you explain what's uh, what's the relationship between Honor and Huawei? Okay, so uh, I think that uh, the Huawei is a company's name, and uh, also that we have the brand is Huawei, and uh, so Huawei. I think uh, some difference that between Huawei and Honor. So firstly, that uh, Huawei as a company's name, that uh, uh, we have the Huawei brand phones, and uh, we are going to setting up as a print. Brand uh, the, for the consumer, and also as we know that uh, we have that long experience in the uh, telecommunication industry, and as well as that uh, we have a lot of in-house ability that uh, to making the smartphones. We have already has uh, a couple of years that experience that in making the smartphones, and so far, and the Huawei together with Owner, we are already the global number three that smartphone brand, and the uh, Owner. Actually, uh, is setting up a little later. It's a start from the end of 2013, and we set up owner as a young brand, as a e brand, and uh, mostly that uh, is facing to the young people. So, uh, some difference between uh, Huawei and Owner is uh, Huawei is uh, uh, you know mostly that uh, uh, you know uh, is uh, using uh, as uh, offline channels. And uh, together with the online channels, but uh, uh, owner that uh, we taking as an e-brand and the face to the young people, and uh, we mostly that use the you know the the online channels as our distributor. Okay. So that's some difference between Huawei and Owner. Uh, right. Some key yeah, is uh, a little bit uh, different. I think I should need to jump to Sanjeev. Sanjeev, just sure. Kalyan, I have told you that Huawei is a parent company brand. Hai. जिसके प्रोडक्ट्स हिंदुस्तान मार्केट में काफ़ी आए हैं जैसे डेटा कार्ड्स की वजह से आप लोगों को काफ़ी प्रख्यातियाँ मिली है लोग काफ़ी जाने हैं आपके बारे में स्टार्ट फेज में और उसके बाद हुआ भी के फोन्स यूज़ होते थे बाकी ब्रांड्स में जैसे रिलायंस आपका फोन काफ़ी जिसे कहते हैं वाइट करके आपका फ़ोन यूज़ करता था फिर ऑनर ब्रांड का जन्म हुआ जिसे आप कहते हैं यंग ट्रेंडी ब्रांड जो यूथ को अपील करेगा लेकिन जब ये ऑनर ब्रांड लॉन्च हुआ था इसका फोकस था खाली ऑनलाइन पर मिलेगा तो ये अचानक दो साल के अंतराल के अंदर यू हैव शिफ्टेड टू द ऑफलाइन स्ट्रेटजी व्हाट वाज द रीजन बिहाइंड इट सो इट इज नॉट अबाउट शिफ्टिंग टू द ऑफलाइन स्ट्रेटजी एज सच इट इज ऑनर वाज बॉर्न फॉर डिजिटल नेटिव्स फॉर द यंग इट द को फिलोसोफी ऑफ ऑनर इज टू ब्रिंग इन फीचर्स फॉर द यंग फॉर द यूथ द फिलोसोफी हैज नॉट चेंज्ड सो वी फोकस ऑन गेमिंग वी फोकस ऑन फोटोग्राफी डुअल कैमरा फोटोग्राफी वी फोकस ऑन स्पोर्ट्स एक्सेट्रा सो दैट इज द प्रिंसिपल इन विच ऑनर फोन्स आर मेड आर स्टिल फोकस्ड ऑन डिजिटल इ नेटिव कस्टमर्स However, in India, it's a clear split. Seventy percent of consumers go offline to buy the phone. Thirty percent of the customers are buying the phones online. It's about. Seventy percent log abhi bhi offline market mein phone khareedte hain. Or khali thirty percent jo Diwali New Year ke time pe sales bad jati hain online mein. Lekin Sanjeev, haan ji. Bada interesting mix hai ye. Itte time se agar ham dekhenge pichle teen almost dear saal se online walon ne zada halla machaya market mein. Offline wale chup chap se apna kam kar rahe hain. Lekin still they have. got 70% market share that is right because the connect uh, the consumer in india always wants a deal he wants to bargain he wants to go to a customer he wants touch and feel so the offline retail will always prevail its historic advantage in india well, that is very clear mm -hmm. the mindset of the consumer is uh, uh, to actually have a touch and feel so the offline retail is now becoming more and more advanced it's improving itself in terms of how they display the phones how they price the phones how they treat their customer how they upgrade their phone from one to another so of course the the offline retail is not going to die in the country that is very sure so it's a very clear split both will stay 
both has its advantage and it's a 30 70 split so as a brand any brand for that matter you have to be omnipresent if you want to be successful in india right so ellen today is a big day for you yeah. you have launched on rate to in the market and it's uh, priced around 30000 and uh, but the only thing that comes to the mind is like if we look at 30000 price segment yes Right now, that segment is getting flooded with a lot of devices. Yes. Earlier, it was the case with say 5,000 rupees, then yes. it went up to 15,000, yes. now 30,000. What is the unique position you're bringing on the table with Honor 8 Pro? Okay, so I think uh, that if you see the, all the specifications of Honor 8 Pro, that you will find that uh, so everything is the best. So the chipset is the best uh, that uh, the chipset that of Kirin and also that uh, we have using the the 2k you know, screen and uh, it uh, has the best room and room and also it has a VR inbox that everything is the best so firstly i see it, it is a flagship phone and it's also the flagship phone of owner so it shows that uh, you know we always want to take the best you know the the flagship product and the best technology for the indian consumers and the company pay attention that in the, uh, to the Indian market, and we are taking that the best technology for the consumer. And uh, secondly, that uh, we are very confident because uh, everything is the best, and uh, all the specification that uh, we are we are fine to compare with all the competitors. That because all the specification that compare with competitor that we are the best. And the third, we are going to say is, uh, uh, Huawei is a technology company. And uh, not just uh, the hardware specifications, even that is already the best, but also that if you see some details, you will find, uh, for example, it's using a dual camera, right? But uh, for this year, and uh, you know, a lot of uh, competitor uh, launched the phones with dual camera. And uh, even iPhone that launched the first uh, dual camera phone last year. And, uh, but uh, if you remember, that is uh, also in this hall, at, in this ballroom, and uh, uh, Mr. George, our president of owner, and together with me, we launched the first uh, dual camera phone in 2015. And we has already more than three years experience in dual camera. So we do believe that a dual camera is not just to put two cameras together, but to need a lot of optimization and a lot of technology inside. So that's why I'm saying that uh, except the hardware specification, of course it's already the best, but also that our in-house ability is making the best experience to the consumer. That's, that's why we are so confident that uh, this one will be that the best in this segment. Okay, so if we go back and understand like whenever you come with a phone, you start deliberating about it. There are a lot of discussions happening in the boardroom. You think, Alan, since he's a product guy, he'll be asking you, I need this feature. You as a sales guy will always be asking, price come karo, price come karo, this is not what I need. How, how do you look at this statement like can price war and innovations go hand in hand so from sales perspective you, then you, you are right you're absolutely <laughs> right you're absolutely right uh, the the sales thought process is uh, this is the segment uh, 10000 and less is 70% of the consumers in india we need phones in that segment we need phones with lower uh, higher spec but lower feature this is very you are absolutely right but the fundamentals in which this company is built there will be no compromise on quality. So whatever we do, we have to finally get onto the quality. When it comes to quality, then what happens is, we don't say we're getting into a price war, but the price to feature ratio, we can always promise that we are, we are, we are the most affordable and we are rightly priced. We have never gone overpriced in any of our products. We're pretty careful with that. So Ellen, you have to take Sanjeev regularly out for a coffee to convince him that <laughs> I want the, my, like the next phone should have this new innovation to the phone and at this price point kind of a thing. So, uh, is it yeah, easy to because, convince him? Uh, you know, I have been in India for many years and I know this market well. And uh, when I come to India, the, the first time I come to India, it was uh, 2014. And uh, if not mistake, I think in 2014 that uh, it's uh, almost the first year that for the smartphone bombing in India. But, uh, you know, after three years that uh, we have seen that many, you know, Indian consumers have started to enjoy the smartphones. And the in consumers are get the benefit of that for the development of the smartphone industry. And now we see that respect also become better and better. But my understanding about the price and uh, also the innovation is, uh, so firstly, we don't want to involve to the price war. 
because we do believe that uh, we have to maintain that a certain price and we can have the reasonable margin that we can support for the future innovation. We will not involve to the, 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 the price war. We have seen that in the, uh, even I, I remember it's almost last year or 2015, that you, you still remember that story, right? That some phones even, you know, that uh, with uh, uh, four to five dollars mm -hmm. price. Right. <laughs> so anyway, that this kind of price war is never that we are looking for. That uh, we will not uh, involve to the, the, the price war. And uh, secondly, that uh, we know that uh, there's a lot of ways that we can optimize our, you know, the cost structure. For example, in this, this time that we select the online channel to launch our product, because we know that once we go for the online channels, that we can save some cost, uh, that the middle cost that uh, of the mid of some the middle cost, and this benefit mm -hmm. can get mm -hmm. some middle cost, and consumer. this benefit can and also by the you know, how is the global consumer. company. And, and also, we're selling the phones you know, not just in company. India, but also and in we're selling the phones not just in India, so we but are also in a lot of other countries. Almost the biggest so volume that, that that's uh, in the world. Almost so the, the big biggest volume, volume also can help us to save some cost. So the big volume also so can help us to save uh, some cost. So it will lose to save the cost and give the benefit of the consumer. To save the cost and give the benefit of the consumer. Enjoy the best technology with the food price. Enjoy the best technology with the food price. The quality that we the, that the right the quality, the reasonable that price, is the, and the, let the, that the right consumer the reasonable price, that is the, what we are consumer can enjoy our understanding. That, that is the innovation what we are and the, our understanding. Sanjeev, in Hindi, it's called the Sasta Roy, Bar Bar Manga Roy. And if you look at your product portfolio, your device starts from almost 6999 mm -hmm. and goes up to 40k, 50k, yes. couple things. Yes. How much is it? Is it true or wrong? Because your devices are in the Sasta category. Some of your devices are in the Sasta category. Yes, sir, no. the, 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 the price points are defined based on a certain set of features. There is uh, processing capability. It's not just about today in India what has happened is consumers just look at the overall, overall, the overall features. They say, okay, how many megapixel is camera? Kitna, what you call the size of the GB, 3 GB, 4 GB, 6, or 64 GB. They don't understand pretty well what is the quality of the screen that goes in. They don't understand what is the quality of the chipset that goes in, the graphic processing capability. They don't understand these things. But this one costs a lot of money to make it because not just the technology but also the patents involved in it. So when we define our price points, like today, the phone that we are offering at uh, 2999, the Honor 8 Pro, we call it lead the pack. There's a reason for it. A simple reason is you're getting 6 GB, 128 GB, best in terms of the specs that you can get in terms of the RAM and ROM. It has our latest processor, 960, we call it the Kirin 960, the world's first Vulkan API, which gives you the best graphic processing capability. And it has a 2K screen. So there is no phone in, in, in any range less than 40 or 50,000, which has a 2K screen. And without a 2K screen, you can't really enjoy the VR experience. So you have great graphing processing, you have great everything, but then you can't really enjoy the latest technology, which is VR. And therefore, we've given a 2K screen on this phone. And we priced at 30,000. So this is a dual camera phone. Of course, we have another phone, which is priced at sub 15,000. But it does not have a 2K screen. But it serves all the other purposes of a great camera, great multimedia. So we have differentiated the phones and pricing based on relevance to the features and relevance to the consumer who's trying to buy it. So we're very careful with that. Our product to price ratio and the feature set, it will all be justified. Right. Sanjeev, uh, last one year, you have been doing a lot of work in your offline retail. What is the latest update? Where have you been? What have you been doing? And in that way, you have heard that you have opened two or three customer care centers. You have opened some experience zones. Can you tell me something about that? So, now, exactly, it has been a year. Last July, when we pushed in, the offline retail center has been a year. Last July, when we pushed in the offline distribution structure, we have reached to over 450 distributors across the country. India has about 650 or plus districts. So which means we have covered all across. We have more than 300, uh, 350 cities and towns across the country that we have covered and reached in terms of uh, our presence. Uh, we've gone to about the top 25 to 28,000 shops across the country. Now the push of GST is going to be very helpful because the advantage of GST is not just one India, one tax, but also simplifying the way stocks move from one city to another city. 
previously you want to move a product to Mumbai, you have to pay an octroi, you have to do a lot of uh, you know documentation. You go to Kolkata, you have so the ease of distribution has become very simple with the advent of GST. So that's a great move by the government, and it's going to be very helpful for us. That makes the online offline platform also pretty much uh, competing because you both have the they're playing on the level field now of course offline requires far more in terms of margins because you have different layers to reach out to that uh, depth you have uh, shop promoters you have demos so the cost of operations is different but the ease of expanding in offline has become much easier and i can see in july we and and this second half we're going to have a very high push into the offline distribution and for sure right and uh, alan uh, yes. if you look at the Overall scenario, we see that almost every year 10 to 50 new OEMs mm. or uh, brands come to India. Mm. Some of them flourish, some of them die down, Baki Okabi are not really aware of what happens with them. Uh, there are a lot of companies who come from China, there are a lot of companies which come from Taiwan, there are a lot of companies which come from US to Indian market. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, both the consumers are not aware that whenever they come to an India, they actually don't, uh, they, the, the company we established in India mm. are not based in their, their headquarters. Mm. They are not remote controlled kind of a thing. Mm. And I think that's the same case with Huawei also because Huawei India is a separate standalone company which does the filing in India. Is it right? Mm. So you can explain to me like, the, like in India, the Huawei India is a standalone company. It does business uh, and pay the taxes and it's registered in India. Is this the scenario? Yeah, so we have different models of business that we do. Mm -hmm. So along with the business models that we're doing, of course, we comply to the government laws. Mm -hmm. So we have an R&D center, which is completely run as an Indian entity. We have different kinds of businesses. We have a factory, so we partner with a factory. Mm -hmm. In distribution, our business relationship is between the distributor and us. Mm -hmm. So the distributor takes it forward. So based on the structure of business, we are complying to those kind of uh, rules in India. But yes, uh, Huawei India, of course, in terms of its branding exercise, in terms of its marketing exercise, definitely has its local insights, local people to give it inputs. Uh, right. And I, have, uh, I, mean, I have also heard somewhere that uh, almost 70 percent of your staff in India is the Indian. More than that. More than that. Much more than that. Okay. Much more than that. Uh, great. So, uh, what was the reason behind that for having so much uh, Indian staff? Because most of the other companies, what we have seen, that almost 50 percent of people are from the home, home country kind of a thing. Well, if you look at my sales team. Uh, Ninety percent is all Indians. We mm -hmm. uh, so I, as you said, that uh, every year that right, a lot of brands come to India. But uh, when we start our business in India, it was 1999. Nine. That we have been in the country for 18, 18 years. years, and uh, also that Indian we have so far we have more than 5,000 employees, and. Uh, I think more ninety percent plus is the local employees. And uh, firstly, that uh, I think uh, we are we have the commitment to, to the country, and we have been here for eighteen years. And I do believe that we will have another eighteen years and then no longer time. And uh, secondly, we do believe that uh, only that uh, the local employees can understand the local, you know, the the the, the, the requirement, mm -hmm. local demand. So we trust our local uh, you know the colleagues and we think that uh, uh, that uh, we need to become a Huawei of India instead of Huawei India so and also the only the our local colleagues can understand the, the requirement of the consumer we are a consumer business and uh, they are getting a lot of feedback to the HQ, and that's why that uh, we can keep that uh, you know the improve our product based on the local you know the requirements. So I think uh, that is understanding, and also that not just India, but also as I explained that we are the global company. Huawei has more than 170 branch offices globally, mm -hmm. and almost the the, the offices. Uh, that uh, I think the localization rate is uh, more than eighty percent or ninety percent. That almost is come from the local, uh, is uh, from from the local, and uh, this is uh, not just uh, you know the uh, uh, so number one is uh, that uh, the, the we we trust our local colleagues, and uh, secondly that uh, uh, we need and also want to become a local company that in each countries. That is our understanding. So, Ellen, uh, what you said is, I have a very interesting thing. Ellen has said that we are 
हुआवी इंडिया नहीं बनना चाहते हम इंडिया की हुआ भी बनना चाहते हैं हुआ भी ऑफ इंडिया सो इट इज समथिंग लाइक जेलिंग विद द मेक इन इंडिया वाला कंसेप्ट लाइक वी आर वर्किंग ऑन इन अ कंट्री एंड हम यहाँ का लोकल सेटअप लोकल कल्चर लोकल डिमांड्स को एब्जॉर्ब करेंगे सो so, संजीव जैसे आप बात करेंगे कि ऑनर फॉर इंडिया तो नेक्स्ट थिंग ये आता है कि हिंदुस्तान में प्रोडक्शन करनी है हिंदुस्तान में ही आपको प्रोडक्ट्स uh, बनाने हैं इसके बारे में वॉट्स द लेटेस्ट अपडेट so we have already partnered with a factory uh, a global partner called flex in chennai so we already uh, have a facility which is uh, capable to make lakhs and lakhs of forks so we are already producing our uh, star products like six x out of india we are uh, our uh, holly 3 which is another star product in offline is also produced out of india we are increasing and ramping this capability one thing that we have observed is the quality that we are able to bring from here is is world class we are very happy with the quality that we did that was the first and foremost thing we wanted to test second thing is to catch up with the pace so that we can serve because this one when it, when alan says huawei of india the factory that we have here is producing and supplying for india at this juncture so we are already doing that so that means jo aapke jo naye phone jo market mein aane wale hain ya jo aaj aapne launch kiya hai ye bhi india mein hi so so the the six x was already produced here uh, the original batches had come in from overseas and then we started producing here so that's the plan that we have as we move because the lead time to start localizing production will take some time so the initial because you don't have the volume and capacity once you start producing locally you can't reduce the volume because the factory line is dedicated for you so what we have to do is each product will have to build up certain momentum and volume so that we can shift it towards so 6x is a very successful product holly 3 is a very successful product it has built up volumes and we've shifted the production here it doesn't make sense to make lower volumes in india you have to make larger volumes other factory will be suffering the employees will be suffering so we have to be a responsible company you can't just scale up the organization and then scale it down so what we do is we we bring in a certain level of products when it's new and then when the, once the volume scales up we move it to local production right uh iske sath hum apne qna round jo humse hua ke spokesperson alan aur sanjeev ke sath baat kar rahe the ye to khatam ho gaya lekin ek aur section abhi baki hai thanks alan for your time thanks 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 sanjeev thanks sanjeev it was a pleasure